Uh, what do I want to do today? Uh, Green Sneakers, my name is Crazy, and if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications. It really does help me out a ton. I thought a new thing that goes on in Hogwarts, but I never heard anyone mention this room. <clears throat> I like the looks of this place. What, what happened to the carpet and, and, and the walls? Was a battle fought here? Look at that, you got all four houses. Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Gryffindor. Welcome! To the Hogwarts Student Club. Nice, nice, nice. Looks like my looks like a raid was fought in here. Nice. I think I shit myself. This room was built years ago. The, years ago, it's a safe and supervised environment for students to practice dueling. Sure, you notice that the damage caused by various fire making fire making spells and blasting curses over the years. We leave this destruction as a reminder that the casting a spell against a friend or a foe can leave imp implications. The one exists as a sport, and also may save your life, and you know firsthand from the Wizarding War. I want you all to learn from this important skill before leaving Hogwarts, but only in this place under our supervision. The Fessers will oversee every duel led by her led resident. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. Led by a resident dueling champion, Professor Flitwick. Use this as an opportunity to challenge yourself and your classmates. Take note of your performance and reward those who do well. And the spells and posters you learn in class help you become a better dueler. Enough of my blathering. Face off to a time and ready your wants. It's time to duel. Helping hours. The duel can come especially over to all and upcoming duelists. And this be most welcome. Damn, I kind of want to learn. Okay, so we need wins for this. Hmm. I guess I'll do that on my own time. Hello, handsome. Honey, Penny, it's like the press from goggle knows something about everything. When we when we're when we're playing chess, it's like she can read my every move. Just so she's so wise and magical. I can hear you talking over there, Marston. <laughs> she's both those things, Mark. You knew that before you even started the teacher appreciation interview. Now I'm still not sure what I'll say in my presentation, but it has to be good as she's a special honoree. <laughs> Well, you're definitely making progress by interviewing the teachers playing wizard chess with McGonagall. And then she told you that getting to know your opponent is a good strategy. Well, that's exactly what you're doing. You're right, Penny, but McGonagall also told me I was trouble staying present. Wise words indeed, Marston. Why don't you focus on the task at hand? Which is reviewing your Wiganweld potion. The rest of the same. I feel like you always. I feel like you always somehow sneak up on me. How can I sneak up on you in my own classroom? Unless, of course, your head was somewhere else, like Professor McGonagall was su suggested. Yes, Professor. The potion, Marston. Need I remind you? The last time you made the concoction, it was merely passable. <laughs> the rest of the same's got a point. 
Well, let's focus on the present like Professor McGonagall suggested. All right, Penny. Let's review this review this potion. I despise every single one of you. <laughs> You're lucky to be working with someone who's killed as Miss Haywood Marston. Never get the light, fish spines. Just wanted to like, get, to my, get to my next interview with Professor McConnell. Stop hamming and hawing, Marston, and get on with it. Man, yeah, some went blood until the potion turns red. I don't use honey water. It's tempted to taste it. Okay, the brew is done. Now we just have to wait for it to cool and the potion is ready. Is I supposed to turn that turquoise color at the end? Absolutely! Absolutely! Are you questioning my potion making? My potion's making mark? That's right, uh. It's like I botched, almost botched potions in the past. I keep watching the game of Witcher Test and playing with Festival Conical. I'm disappointed in the game or the presentation. What? My. Metaror McGonagall respects more than anything is people who don't quit. She and I have that in common. I see that, Professor. She does deserve to be properly honored at the teacher appreciation feast. Unless you fail her. Unless you fail her by giving up. Is that what you are, Marston? A failure? No way, I'm a winner, Professor Saint. I'll do my best, Professor McGonagall, in the presentation. And in our chess game. That remains to be seen. But I'm. But in the meantime, I suggest you stop whining and wallowing. And rise to the location. Unless you disappoint us all at the teacher appreciation celebration. Like you failed this potion. Wow, that sounded like a threat. Professor say can be just a bit gruff. But you but maybe you can use this for some bold in you to do your best in your presentation. <laughs> As well in chess and water chess wizard chess game. Why should be fun, not scary? There it is fun. I'm lucky to get to even play with Professor McGongle. No other student has that chance. Exactly. I bet Professor McGongle believes in you, and so do I! Then we're gonna give you up! And I just saw I have someone I believe in, and, and I just saw someone I believe in who can have the answers I need. Who? Headmaster, I'm off to head to see Professor Dumbledore next. Wipe that stupid smile off your face. It's time for us to talk. Join me in my office. I just shot myself, just so you know. Thank you for bringing me on such short notice, Headmaster. Your note came at an opportune time. I mean, they call you and myself. Oh, really? I've been hearing interesting rumors about you and your activities lately. I have some opinions about them. Activities, sir? Yes. You've been very busy. So I felt it was time we talked. You have any idea what about? Oh, I hope it doesn't want me to my research for when my search for the Chris Waltz. Fortunately, it does not. We've already discussed that, and I warned you about the impact your choice for the Volts has made. Focus on your studies and your teacher appreciation presentation of Professor McGonagall. Really, because that's exactly why I asked to speak with you. I'm glad to hear it. Proceed. I'm thinking that that really honor Professor McGonagall's teacher, teacher, teacher appreciation celebration. Ooh. And I need to talk to people who knows her best. I'm airing her friends and peers. I admit, I heard you received some information about her esteemed honoree. Happy to hear you've been doing your homework. That's why I wanted to call you here as well, to commend you. I'm glad because, as I have master, you're top of the list of people I need to talk to. After all, you know her, known her the longest. It's true, I do have quite a unique insight. Professor McGonagall, aside from having to post her work with her these many years, and I honor teaching her in her own time as a student here at Hogwarts. 
So many interesting and great things about the professor so far. I really want to know what makes her special to you, Headmaster. Then let's begin. Help me to further appreciate Professor McGonagall will be my pleasure. I'm so glad I never had to do this in school because I would fuck it up. Professor McGonagall is always finding ways to surprise to surprise me even today. What was most surprising when Professor McGonagall was a student? Even as a student, McGonagall's and mega skills were most impressive. Is McGonagall your favorite student? Few people realize how funny whenever McGonagall can be. I hold Professor McGonagall in a high regard. That's why I were playing what's a chest and clear she's their master. Kong was a gifted transfiguration student, to say the least. Professor Goggle, your favorite staff member? To say Professor McGonagall's wise is an understatement. What's well, surprising about Professor McGonagall as a student? Okay, now I think you're just repeating your. Yeah, they're repeating themselves now. As you can see, I have no storage of quality to extol by the subject of your presentation. And as we discussed, not only is she wise in a master wizard chest, uh -huh. it's most satisfying to see how see her grow into a master of magic as well. Did you always know she was going to join the staff of Hogwarts? Mm. Actually, we were her second job after she graduated. Uh. Though I have to admit, I was least she chose to call us here. Said to lead the Ministry of Magic. Did Uncle work for the Ministry? I had no idea. For a time after, yes, she did. A lot of people, should, a lot of people were glad she made the decision to teach her instead. Indeed, Professor McGonagall is dedicated. That's my favorite thing about her, sir. How trustworthy she is. She will not let her down. She will not let her down her colleagues or any of the students at Hogwarts. In fact, McGonagall is a person I would trust Hogwarts to in my absence. Mr. McGonagall will be brilliant, of course. Hope that day never comes, sir. I assure you that it has, and it will again. But Professor McGonagall has the strength to handle whatever comes her way. She has my complete, my complete trust and faith. I never don't want to disappoint Professor McGonagall at the celebration. You won't even have faith and trust in your teacher as well. That said, she won't let you down, and I, as I expect you won't either. Thank you, Headmaster. Good luck in your presentation and in your wizard chess game. Uh, uh. To be quite deployed to best your professor. You're right, I'm sure, but for now, I, I need to sign my next move and bring it back to Professor McGonagall. Time for our next interview. Time to continue our game. Meet me in the transfiguration classroom now. Now. Do it now. This game is going quite exciting, Professor. You're definitely offering me a ch quick challenge. That is the intention. Nothing life is worth earning comes easily. It really sounds that way, and you said you worked hard throughout your career. Back to him, Master. Back to him, thinks he is a master of magic. From Dumbledore, that's quite the compliment. As he is one of the most skilled wizards of our time. I wonder if I'll read that school tour if I have what it takes. To wonder is a waste of time. The answer is within you, so let's have it. What do you think is required to become a ma master of magic? I expect it takes hard work, but I'm confident I could become a master of magic if I worked as hard as you have. Not because I take my studies seriously, Professor, just as you did. Your teachers will appreciate that, as do I. I don't know why I sound like Professor. The head headmaster. Take that to our professor. Anything is possible. But one but this one is I'm coming first in the magical in the magical arts overnight. You have a long road ahead and much to learn. 
The city has been fascinating learning more about learning more about you, Professor. For instance, I didn't know you had a muggle parent. That quite qualifies fascinating. It's simply a fact. Well then let's talk about your student achievements. I'm impressed here you're a free fake a hit girl and ace all your exams. Also you play a question of fans match between Gryffindor and Slytherin. Is there a question in the midst of all this rambling? I'm just curious to hear more about them right from the hypocrite's mouth. Mm -hmm. You think it'll be helpful for your presentation? We can discuss this all in greater depth as we play. To hear anything more you have to anything you more you have to add. I'm planning to add, boy. Sorry guys, if I'm not reading the bottom text, my throat just became a little dry, a little itchy. Thanks, Professor. And your dust from what I've learned so far is very helpful. And yet you still have more questions, I assume. Actually, there is one fact I've learned when talking to us don't let ever surprise me. Right, well, are you going to ask about it promptly? Is it hanging there for me to wonder about? I guess I was surprised to hear you came to Hogwarts after working in the Ministry of Magic. I'm wondering, was there a part of your long-term plan? Is that what you think? That my life has always gone according to plan? Just so you seem successful at everything you set your mind to. Your chess moves during this game has been quite methodical and strategic. Oh, you do so much to learn about the journey of life. Look at the mystery of magic. Is something you anticipate? It's a hardly a sordid story. I worked there for a year, then made a choice to become an educator. Yes, I wonder if there's something more to add it. Perhaps our choices can affect who we are. Every move we take during our chess game has ramifications. Choices you make reason will turn when you say your presentation, how I'll be presented. Tell that our um, Well then I would remiss if I didn't mention that you're now in check. Oh no. Don't fret, the game isn't over yet. Though we have to wait to our final chess session. To see if you'll become the to see if you'll be the victor in this game. Do well on your teacher presentation. Teacher appreciates your presentation. And then we'll turn to finish our match. You finally celebrate teach, preach, celebrate Professor Gongo, the teacher appreciation celebration. Make me in the car to finish your presentation, which we'll do next.